Hello Hammer Campers, this is Nikki AK Nickfish03. I kind of just want to show you my uh, home rig and also my mosquito netting that I just made last night. So, as usual, the Eno double nest on my homemade hammock stand that took um, couple hours to make and about an hour to get in my room which I hadn't really thought about until I started doing it and um, we got the Eclipse 35 degree ham uh, sleeping bag it's um it's good it's good cotton polyester uh, it's pretty big, it's wide, and I never take it actually camping, but for home use it's great. It's just like a big quilt. No problem with uh, getting a cold back because it's just got the cotton lining. I'm actually looking to um, make some sleeping bag liners out of perhaps a uh, cotton bed sheet or something. I'll get back to you on that, get some videos of that, because I do have to wash it every now and then. As you can see, there's kind of a color difference between the stomach side and the back side, just from sweat on hot nights or whatever. Um, otherwise, actually, it's got a really nice draft tube. I found that pretty nice. You know, it's got the zipper here. It's got a overlap right here. But back to the hammock. So I made this mosquito netting out of um, a canopy, kind of a for a cot. Uh, it's got four corners, it's supposed to be tied up. I used it last year, you can see at uh, my uh, Boy Scout pictures. I used it last year, It I just took two holes on either side of it lengthwise, and it wasn't just quite long enough. So now I've decided to make my own. And the other day I spent about an hour checking around stores trying to find some mosquito netting and I couldn't find any. Checked the fabric store, checked Big Five, checked REI which used to have it. I'd seen it there before but they don't make it, sell it anymore so I had to revert back to my cot canopy. But now I've gone corner, top left corner to bottom right corner. I had this velcro from last year when I was thinking of making the mosquito netting and uh, what I've been using is shoe goo which is just 24 hour set glue dries dried for me in about an hour um, then just takes cure time so I glued the bottom edges of the canopy shut where you would normally place that over your cot and uh, glued the velcro in after I set it up and realized that I had no way to get in until I put in the velcro. So originally I um this is one of the, the side corners over here and uh you can't really see it right here but I tried sewing sewing it so this was last year I tried sewing it so the hole wouldn't get any bigger once I made it. That that, that worked, um, but again, it was just it was just too short lengthwise. So now I'm going corner to corner. I just took a little piece of rope to tie off the ends right now. The hole shouldn't get any bigger. It's pretty big right now. It's about uh, the w width of a football right now on this side. The other side's about grapefruit size, and um, just slid that over. Goes all the way over here. Same idea. You can see I didn't I didn't sew anything on here. I just ripped it open last night, and luckily it reached the seam. So hopefully it won't get any bigger. Again, just tying it shut, and I'll show you the edge that I glued. Did this last night outside. I just um, put on a rubber glove and pushed. Uh, put a little glue on my thumb, pushed it through, and then kind of wiggled it back and forth like that. 
uh, just to spread it around. Can't really see it because it's clear, but um, instead of just one long line, which would take forever, I just did little patches. Won't matter for the mosquitoes. For the Velcro, um, as I said, I set everything up. I had two holes on either side. The bottom was glued shut. Got my hammock through. Figured out I had no way to get into it, so I just took a pair of scissors and cut up from the bottom. And that's the length right here. Um, same thing as before, just put a little glue on my thumb, stuck it on, kind of rubbed it in. And the only problem I've had is that the rough side of the Velcro catches on the mosquito netting, which would make sense because I don't think I've seen other mosquito nettings with Velcro on it. I don't, maybe the ENO bug net is Velcro, but I'm pretty sure that it's a zipper, which uh should have thought about, but you know. It's fine for free equipment. Uh, my next one, hopefully I'll get some uh, square mosquito netting online or something before I go off to Minnesota for college. And I can make a, uh, just take the corners of each, each part of the square and do the same thing here. Just glue the, the bottom sloop instead of having to glue squares. Um, okay, I'll uh, show you how to uh, get into it. It's uh, a little smaller than I thought it would be. The hole, I mean. So as you can see, it's kind of starting to catch right here. That's uh, just have to be careful with that, I guess. Just thinking maybe gluing um, kind of around it so there's no there's no netting that can be caught. But I don't I don't think that's gonna help very much. Just gonna have to deal with it. And I uh, I'm doing all this because I'm going to Boy Scout camp for a week and. The camp is right on a lake. Last year we didn't have much trouble with, with mosquitoes, but we'll see about this year. There we go. I'll do my, uh, my ridge line a little bit tighter when I go to camp. Maybe when I try it out tonight. But, you know doesn't really fall on my face that much if I've got um if I got my sleeping bag out. If I pull this up then it's it's really just fine. It'll be over here. So as you can see I've got a lot of extra fabric here just because it was a canopy and not a square piece. I don't really want to fix it now because I'd have to glue the bottom with the top and that just get pretty messy probably end up ripping somewhere too but I I was thinking about it and kind of works as a nice little uh, jacket spot or whatever uh, I guess down here would work fine too but you know have a separate separate spot for your cargo speaking of cargo I'm I'm looking to uh, make a little cargo hammock net I was um, looking online. I've, I saw one before on the hammock camping group on Facebook, and looked pretty nifty. And somebody else said they got one from a local store, but I, I've never really seen any around here. So I'm thinking of just taking some 550 paracord and making my own, just netting it. Probably shouldn't be too hard. I think just get some instructions for some rope hammocks and go from there. I guess. So, that's it. Hope you have, uh, hope you liked it. If you have questions, just ask. See you later.